What now, fair maid? I am come to know your pleasure. That you might know it would much better please me than to demand what it is. Your brother cannot live. Even so, heaven keep your honour. Yet, may he live a while? And it may be as long as you or I. Yet he must die. Under your sentence? Yes. When I beseech you. <laughs> Damn these filthy vices! Say you so? Then I shall pose you quickly. Which of you rather? That the most just law now took your brother's life, or to redeem him, give up your body to such sweet uncleanness as she that he has stained? Sir, believe this. I had rather give my body than my soul. I talk not of your soul. Jose, young girl dressed in brown, wait in the water till you drown. Which of them will wear the crown? God's gonna trouble the water, wait in the water. What bad news of the Duke? <laughs> I know of none. Can, can you tell me of any? Oh, fun. Say he went with me to go into our shard. Others say what is in Rome. Oh. <laughs> You're drunk. Inquiring minds would really love to know what it is that he did. <laughs> oh, I know not where, but wherever he is. I wish him well. Good day. You know, I really want oh, a nice fantastical thing of oh, to my mouth. steal from the state and oh. to disguise himself as some kind of commoner. Oh, oh you stink. <coughs> you know, the Lord Angelo, <laughs> he really do sit well in his absence. Oh. But I do find it rather peculiar that the Duke would not select his favourite, you know, that, that young one, the Escalus, and rather that of the, uh, the, the dangerous, dangerous Lord Angelo. <laughs> dangerous Angelo. How is he dangerous? <laughs> Let's just say that the Duke is going to find it harder to get back that little sash of his. Oh, God. Enough. But it was to give it away. Lord Angela weighs all transgressions against the strictest letters of our oldest laws. It really would bring him no harm to offer a little bit of leniency to that Duke. He really is that. Oh, no, thank you. It is too general a vice and and severity, severity must cure. Oh no, I will agree with you that vice really is everywhere, Prior. And it would be impossible to erase unless we put down food and drink. 